why the frick's that no coming up? Aye, it does come up. Aye, but it comes up. Rang! No, wait. That's right. Aye, we're cool. We're cool. Now, the question is... Did the emulator save my progress? All right, apparently dead cool. Mesa City. What state is that in? New Mexico? Is that you making those noises, Murray? What are you doing? Oh God. Hello, we walrus. We wascally waccoon. Um, can you hear me okay? Does it sound alright? Hello, objective. How'd you do? It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. <laughs> it was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Uh, 2282 has been so, so, so far. I've not went back to work after all. <laughs> It wasn't really an emulation problem. So oh wait, you're talking about there. fuck. I, I didn't fix that, that we walrus. Fuck, I meant to as well, right? We do we're just not allowed to die. Sunset snake eyes. I can smell the cheese. Alright. So for those of you who don't know, for some reason when I die in this game. A little shadow emulation glitch occurs, so I'm not allowed to die. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. The PS2 can't run it, unfortunately. <clears throat> and all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. All right, no danger. But, but I want those balls. There we go. I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die and the emulation glitch is gonna come in and people who are just entering the stream are gonna be, see it and be like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with your fucking stream? Fix your fucking shit. Fucking hell. I'll tell you this as well, by the way, 
I've just had my dinner, right? I had like a, a Chinese, all right? I was really craving a Chinese, so I'm like, I'm gonna have fucking Chinese, all right? I'm my own man, you know? I pay my taxes, I'll have a Chinese if I want one. And it was shite. Like, I got some chow mein, all right? Why do I feel like this isn't the first time I've moaned about chicken chow mein on this stream? But I got some chow mein, and uh, for some reason, I had never seen this before, on good old Just Eat, it actually gave you the option to go with dry noodle. And I was like, what the fuck is dry noodle? I'm gonna have to try this shit out. That sounds like something Kazuma Kiryu would take, right? He likes his noodles dry and hard and shit. I'm like, I'll try that. And <laughs> the fucking, the fucking dish came and the noodles were dry. They were dry. I don't think they added any water yet. You know, <laughs> like it just looked like, you've, you, they looked like noodles that you have to boil suddenly, you know? And it was just like, I paid 20p extra for the dry noodles, with substantially less water. The fuck is this shit? So, aye. Then they, then they go for dry noodles. Man. Oh no, the fucking shadow glitch is gonna come. Yeah, there it is. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Let's turn to good old Google and see if there's a quick solution that we can do for this, alright? Um, Sly Cooper PC X2. Shadow glitch? Uh, shadow graphic glitch. When you run around the level... After dying... Graphics distortion where switching to software mode and back again can fix this uh, after it happens or F9 twice. Wait, F9 switch between software and hardware mode? Oh my god! Haha! -ha! We figured it out, guys. See, Google does help. Right, one is software mode. Okay, this must be hardware mode because it's very blurry with the original resolution in that, but okay. So we just have to F9 twice. Hopefully that looks okay on the stream, but yeah. Although I've just sort of realized, if I upload this run to YouTube, like, people are gonna obviously skip ahead and they're gonna wonder why'd you keep hitting F9? Or why'd you keep doing that to the screen? Hmm. So how's everybody, fuck? So how's everybody else's 2022 treating them so far? Actually, not to bring up a depressing topic right off the bat, but when is- isn't this technically Blue Monday? No, no. Is it? Or was Blue Monday last Monday?
those flashing lights? The latest in high tech software security. mode emulates all its software with sensors. no graphics. Step usually no graphics. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. <laughs> Hello, Adam. Motherfucker. I'm blaming the fact that I'm on a, a Xbox controller for this. Yeah, we got it anyway. It's cool. It wasn't there like... Okay, yeah, we've got this move. Playing some OG Yakuza 1. OG? What, you mean like PlayStation 2? Oh boy, has it aged as well as you remember? <laughs> Actually, have you ever did you ever play the actual version of Yakuza Adam? Hit me there. Yeah. Hey, there's a platform in there, Sly. That was a platform. You all saw that shit. Okay. So there's the there's the glitch again. That is weird. That. I played one a long ass time ago and forgot how, I forgot a lot of how it played, like the camera. Yeah, it's very weird going back to that, isn't it? Yeah, we walrus, that's a good thing. Sorry digging this music by the way. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. And it looks like a dog from Tom and Jerry. Spike! Yeah. Probably. I think it's gonna fall. That's probably one thing that's fairly impressive about Sly Raccoon, actually, because it's um, like how Sly's uh, when he lands on the platform, how he kind of sways back and forth, like he was on the top of a chandelier or something. You see that a lot in this game because I guess Sucker Punch was proud of it. You know how when a developer is like proud of how they've uh, implemented something, so they feel the need to implement it a lot. You know? Adam, I have a question about software and hardware mode if you're still there. Can I up the resolution of hardware mode? Because if I switch to hardware mode, it looks awful blurry. Um, I don't know, is there a way to do that? Motherfucker! Sugar. Oh my god, I have no lives left. <laughs> I think Rock uh, Sucker Punch first game was the first to have legit physics engine. 
So it makes sense. A legit physics engine was Rocket Robot on Wheels. That can't be right, can it? I mean, that's a good game, but the first game ever you have a physics engine? No, surely not. Oh, so this is hardware we're in right now. For some reason I thought we were in software mode, okay. Right, I missed six whole bottles. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to go back and get a few bottles for the first area. I'm sure Nanny's will mind. I should really play Rocket Robot on Wheels. I haven't played that in fucking ages. You know what? I also haven't done fucking ages. Be right back. <laughs> Here's my cartridge right here. It's actually so weird to look at it now because it says like Sucker Punch right there on the cartridge. You know, it's the same logo that's in this game, but I just associate that logo and that font so much with Sly Raccoon, but it's not. It's a fucking N64 game <laughs> published by Ubisoft. Yeah, this is easily one of the better like third party N64 games we ever got, which there wasn't many. There was not many at all. I wonder if Vessel. No, it can't. It... Who owns Rocket Robot on Wheels, guys? Is it Sony? Because Sony owns Sucker Punch now, or does Ubisoft still own this? Because I'm just thinking. Could that show up on the Nintendo Switch Online? Who knows? Just checked. Apparently, it was the first home console game to use a physics engine to drive the gameplay. Oh, well. Good for you, Sucker Punch. <laughs> So obviously there would have been like PC games and that before to that would have physics engines as well, right? N64 seemed to have all these random like technical impossibilities. Like I'm just thinking of Resident Evil 2 here, you know? About how much of a technical achievement that was. Hello Cool Breeze. Oh, I didn't even know you could go back there. Ah oh, well. Back to work today. I'm not actually Cool Breeze. I thought I was, but I got a message from the boss saying we'll come back on Wednesday. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> I mean, what do you say in that situation? It's like, no, no, no. I really want to come back to work, boss. You know? Hmm. To be fair, I am actually kind of ready to get back to work. <laughs> of the. Uh... Dying to get back into a routine again. I feel well rested, if you know what I mean. A bulldog. It seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. I remember <laughs> looking at that and thinking, what the fuck's that gonna do? You see the Lego release day, something the Hedgehog set. Um, I did see it, but I didn't really, like, care. <laughs> like, uh, Lego is, you know, Lego's definitely a company that uh, releases products that people buy, you know. 
Hello, Hookalonk. I'm good yourself. Eh, uh, Hookalakonk. Hooka, hooka. Right. Actually, can I? Yeah, okay. We're gonna go back and get a few bottles, alright? How does this work again, alright? Like, yeah, the bottles, that is. Because I want to make sure I'm not, like, missing out on anything good. Because we've, we've, we've done one, um, we've done one so far that, uh, and it gave us that sort of dive move. Have you seen the recent Sega vs q &A? I have, objective, yeah. Um, I guess my takeaways is that, like, uh, the news about Yakuza's, like, sales and all that were really good news. You know, that made me happy. Like, let me think. It's apparently sold just under 3 million copies on PC alone now, which is really good. And Lost Judgment, um, almost doubled the s release sales of, like, the first game. But that's not too surprising considering it was a multi-platform release and came out around the world at the same time, so obviously they're going to make more money off it. But still really good news all around, you know. Uh, what did you see in it like? What games have I been playing off stream? I've actually been playing Hookah Ghost of Tsushima, alright? That's actually why I'm in a bit of a sucker punch mood than it. Um, playing that on the PS5, it's really good. I just made it to, like, uh, the Ike Island, for anybody who's played that. Oh my god, who makes guides like this? Interesting that apparently they delayed Sonic Frontiers for a year for quality reasons. I think it's the first main series Sonic game to get a delay that long, if so. Yeah, they did say that. You know, it's funny, Objective. I thought I thought it would have been really unprecedented of Sega if they delayed a Sonic game out of, like, the holiday period. You know, like, the October-November period, which they never do. Well, okay, they did do it with Team Sonic Racing, but never, like, a main series game, you know, so... I kind of thought that maybe that's what they would do, but if they've been working on this game for that long, then okay, fair enough. But yeah, it's like, <clears throat> I think I saw like a comment about this the day as well, about Sonic Frontiers and about it being delayed. It's like, yeah, that's really nice that it's delayed, but this, but will, at this point, you know, will the delay be worth it? <laughs> Is it actually going to be good? And I think that's what everybody wants to know at this point, you know? You also mentioned relying on external evaluations during development. Mm -hmm. They're probably talking about all the focus testing and all that. Do you remember those like uh, rumors about the focus testing and stuff? It's probably all that. Oh fuck this! <laughs> also, they're getting into NFTs. Oh wait, that's Square, even though we've known about that for a while. You guys see that stuff about Square, about the uh, CEO, he made that big long document about NFTs, saying about how happy he is that they're, the company is going to be like fully behind them and all that shit, you know? Uh, it does make me wonder how Sonic games would have gotten into development had they focus tested earlier. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that went down well, didn't it? For Square Enix, that is. Funk my tokens. <laughs> yeah, but listen, you know, look, I, I said this before as well, and I'll say it again, you know, I literally don't care if Square Enix is doing the NFT stuff, you know? Like, I'm, I, it's not going to affect me, I'm probably not going to buy it, but... What always gets me about whenever that happens is the emotional reaction. I think I've read about this before on Twitter, but I don't know. 
I feel like not enough people even know what an NFT is. I barely know what an NFT is, you know? But they elicit that emotional reaction that everybody goes mental because of it. But regardless of how you feel about them, you know, listen, if you're any of this hobby, it's very clear that you're gonna have to get used to it, you know? Like, they're not gonna go anywhere as long as they're money to be made, I suppose. All these, like, companies that are not our friends are gonna be getting into them. Right, there's one bastard bottle. One bastard bottle here. I kind of wish I could get into Tsushima. Um, I just personally really don't care for historical fiction. I'm an addict for sci-fi or fantasy <laughs> my games. It is really good, like, um... I, there's, there's very little, like, sucker punch DNA, I would say, in the game. Like, you play the game and it's like, you don't think, okay, this is a sucker punch game. I mean, even Infamous. Even Infamous, to an extent, I feel, had, like, a... It felt a bit Sly cooper -y, you know? Something about the way that Cole McGrath would, like, control and shit, you know? I don't know much, but they seem to be receipts that are bad in the environment, the little I do know. See, that's the thing that everybody sort of, like, grasps to, Adam. But from what I heard, like, put it this way, right? From what I heard, see Ubisoft. Ubisoft got into NFTs right there. They put them into Ghost Recon, uh, whatever the fuck that latest one was. And uh, because the, they're tracked in such a way, we actually know for a fact that they sold approximately 15 of them. You know? Hello, Romero. <laughs> and uh, that's obviously, like, quite embarrassing because they would have made fuck all off it, but... It's clear that they're just, like, uh, experimenting, you know? But... The thing is, the NFTs that they were using, and they made sure to, like, say this... To transfer an NFT, which everybody claims costs, like, so much... I thought I'd died there. Costs, like, so much energy and therefore produces so much CO2. Literally... I really shouldn't get into this. Like... Like I said, this is a very, I'm not sure it should be, but it's a very emotionally charged topic for a lot of people. And everybody's already made their mind up about what NFTs are and aren't. So, <laughs> just talking about it is probably just like, making somebody breathe a little harder, you know? But, like, okay, put it this way. Ubisoft's NFT, to transfer the NFTs they were using, to transfer it, uses the same amount of energy it costs to stream... I believe it was 30 seconds of HD video, okay? What's this? I've been streaming for about half an hour now. Okay, I've literally transferred 60 NFTs, you know? Um, and, you know, I live in a country, Scotland, which is, I think, like 97% renewable energy. So am I really damaging the environment? You see, you see what I mean? People, I just feel like the whole it's bad for the environment thing is so indirect. Because everything we do in this life is using energy, which is producing CO2 emissions, but not all of that energy was produced by burning, by producing CO2, some of it was non-renewable. You know what I mean? People, somebody somebody out there, when NFTs were stuck, starting to pick up, somebody must have taken a really strong stance about the environment and everybody just, like, latched onto it, you know? That's just me, it's just me, okay? Like, I don't give a shit. I really do not give a shit about NFTs, okay? I'm just speaking my mind here, okay? Don't at me. I was actually getting cancelled, um, uh, I was, oh, it was a couple of nights ago when I was streaming Sly. What was I getting cancelled for again? Uh, oh yeah, fucking Loudmouth, he kept bringing up, he just kept saying random shit that I said in videos from ten years ago. And I'm just like, it's only a matter of time before he says something that's gonna get me cancelled. Uh, do I drink coffee? Sometimes, sometimes, okay, yeah. I like a good mocha. That's my go-to right there. Yeah, this one right here, Ramura. Yeah, I already went to the room and uh, got it. <laughs> um, uh, I think I need. To, I was saying, I think I need to stream that game. You know. What the frick? It's rocket robot on wheels. You were being cancelled. I wasn't really being cancelled, Ramura. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was just making a joke of it, because I am the way I am. How the fuck did I miss this? 
How the fuck did I miss that? Shit. Oh, somebody's fully in. Must be an NFT supporter. Black Cat Thief. Uh, with a name like that, you've got to be quite dodgy. Hello, thank you for the follow. Um, I'm... I feel like I'm the few people that like Sly 12 over the other four games. What's Sly 12, hookah? Sly 1, yeah. Well, the thing about Sly 1 is that it's very much a... Like... It's kind of a Crash Bandicoot game, really, because all the levels are quite linear and all that. You know what I mean? Uh, it wasn't until Sly 2 that the series kind of, like, got its own identity. And I made this comparison a couple of nights ago as well. You can really say the same for, like, Ratchet and Jack. You know, the first games in those franchises were very different uh, in comparison to, like, what the series would eventually come, become, you know? I think that's very interesting. So you beat the annoying chicken, chicken level, I guess. Um... The annoying chicken level. In this game, I've only done this first area so far. Crash Bandicoot is based. I don't know if I believe that, CW. It's ob it obviously went for that sort of like Mario 64 style of game where you go around finding all the collectibles as opposed to going from point A to point B while avoiding C and uh, collecting D, you know? Which is obviously a quite a popular, a decent way to make a platformer, but yeah. Right, so I think how safes work in this game, right? Oh shit, where's the vault? Did I just walk past it? There it is, fuck. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the way that vaults work in this game is that... It's literally like a linear sort of thing. Like, it doesn't matter what safe you open, you always get the same rewards in the same order, you know? Because we got the... We got this, like, dive move, and we've only done one so far, so this is 100% gonna be, like, the same thing every time, I think? The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Yeah, Adam, that's something I convinced myself when playing Sly 2. Even though I like Sly 2, I've replayed it a bunch of times. I convinced myself, oh, I don't like playing as, like, Bentley and Murray. I just want to play as Sly. But I... I... Hello, Link Mario Samus. Um, oh god, your second message is a f asking about a film. All right. Um, it was the one level where the have attacked 20 chickens. Uh, wait, and Sly? Is that a thing, Ramira? You sure? I remember one of the vault codes being the neighbor of the beast. What does that even mean? <laughs> Hello, Leon. Um, okay, so... Roll. Oh yeah, I, 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 like, I don't think you can use this move for anything. Uh, Sly literally becomes Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's definitely a level. Okay, it must be in, like, um, Mugshot's level then. Because it's definitely not here, okay? There's no chickens in Wales. Alright. What system am I playing this on? This is, uh, well, it's PS2 exclusive, but we are emulating it, so, yeah. Right. What do you get for the... In fact, I'm going to test this out. What do you get for doing the time attack again? It's no one to talk about HD collection. Yeah, fair enough. There is a HD collection, isn't it? Do you guys remember when the Sly collection was the first HD, like, collection? Alright? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was the first one, wasn't it? 
Did Sutton come before it? I really can't remember. Um... God of War was first. Yeah, I'm so, I'm sorry I'm sorry like thinking that myself. Yeah, God of War came before Sly. Hello Epic. No, I think no, Ico was relatively late because I can remember thinking it would be so cool because it was rumored for a while. Yeah. Um yeah, Ico was somewhat late. It wasn't the first one, anyway. Okay. Who wants to explain what I just did there <laughs> to our new viewers? No, like Mario Simpson. I remember Sly 1 being very, like, early. Like, it was still, like, kind of novel. I remember seeing it at E3, too. Yeah, something like that, Leon. You know, I take that back about Ghost of Tsushima because I unlocked this, like, grappling hook in Ghost of Tsushima and the swinging physics actually remind me a lot about Sly. And that's a random comparison to make, but... Oh man, I'm sucking arse. Is there, like, a sprint button or something that I'm missing? Would you like to retry... Okay, fuck this, fuck this. <laughs> no, that's what we were talking about earlier, Leon, about how when I play Ghost of Tsushima, as much as I'm liking it, it doesn't feel like there's too much Sucker Punch DNA in it. Like, uh, even Infamous felt a bit Sly Cooper-y, in my opinion. But I'm not getting that much of that from Tsushima, so... Okay, let's try and doing at least one more. Well, the thing about Donkey Kong 64 is that it's a game that gets... How should I put this? It was obviously clearly beloved for the day, you know, sold a shitload. But it gets looked back on as how not to make a 3D platformer in terms of, like, collectibles. Because that's like a... That's like a criticism that you get from a lot of platformers these days. It's like, oh, collect-a-thons, all you do is go around collecting. You know, people like that. There's an audience, but again, there's like a group of people that think that that's all you do and therefore it's easy for them to like sort of take the piss. And I feel like Donkey Kong 64 contributed to that because there's a lot of fucking collectibles in that game, you know? Hello, Solid Sliders. Says first time chat. Why do I feel like I've seen you in the chat before? You can't. I recall even Rare Devs called it the game that killed the collectathon. <laughs> again, I don't know if I'd agree with that, but it's um again, it's one that gets brought up a lot, isn't it? I know, I couldn't get into it personally. And I really like all of Rare's other fr Like, I love Banjo-Tooie. I feel like that's an unpopular opinion. I think Banjo-Tooie is better than Kazooie. Like, the first one, you know? But people accuse that game of having too many collectibles, and I don't know. I don't know. It may have a lot of collectibles, but I, I liked collecting them, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Solid.
You don't by any chance know where the last three bottles in this level are, do you? Okay, guys, we need to we need to decide this right now. Okay, in fact, I say we need to decide this right now, but I'm probably going to change my mind later. Do we go for all the bottles in this stream? All right. Do I make that? If I haven't gotten all the bottles, it's a fail. Okay. Do I make that a rule right now? Okay. Because if we say yes, you know I'm going to go back on it. All right. But I'm willing to like lie right now and see how we get on. You know. Right, we have one for no. Yeah, Rora says yes. <laughs> Ramira, this is not going to be as painful as Anita burst, all right? Well, I say that, but there may, I know there's a couple of bosses in this game that are a pain in the tits. So maybe I shouldn't say that just yet. Hello, Zach. Until I get the fast ability. Okay, so there is a sprint in this game, game guy. Hello, by the way. Because um, I was thinking about that, because isn't it like in Sly 2 by default? So it is in there, right? There is a sprint move that I want to get. Am I right? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I don't think it's Super Mario 64 compared to other 3D platformers. It's good. I mean, it started the whole thing, sort of, didn't it? I'm in a Mario 64. Better than Sunshine, but that's not too hard. Um, no as good as Galaxy. Galaxy's my shit. Um, I don't know where I'd put Odyssey in my 3D Mario game tier list. Nah, oh, man. Super Mario Sunshine's shite. You think you like it, but you don't actually. You, you just don't know better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of Sunshine. Been watching. Yeah, because the two. All right. It's not much worse than most other Mario games, in my opinion. Like, it's definitely... There's definitely, like, a conversation to be had about Mario Sunshine, you know? I feel like it was one of those games... Like, obviously, if you like it, more power to you. Like, I like a lot of games that are generally considered to be, like, not that good, but... Because Mario Sun Sunshine definitely has its fans, you know? I'd like to say that, you know, the, um that 3D All-Stars collection thing that Nintendo released and then rubbed from existence. I want to say that that made people wake up, quote-unquote wake up about Mario Sunshine, because I saw a lot more flack about Sunshine when that game came out, you know? Um, yeah, you'll never see me stream Sunshine. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things I could stream, I suppose, but not a fan, not a fan. I'm going to miss out on these three balls again, aren't I? Can I stream Mario 64? Uh, see, stream Mario 64, it'd be like when I streamed Ocarina of Time. I would play I would play the game for like more than 10 minutes and people would be like, why haven't you finished it yet? Because I feel like that's... Maybe not Ocarina of Time, but definitely Mario 64. It's like place in pop culture, at least in the current year, is all about speedrunning, you know? Like, I don't think anybody plays Mario 64 for fun anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Recreationally, if you will. It's all about, like, speedrunning tech and all that. I had my friend over, um, uh, Froky Fro, uh, who streams sometimes. Oh, fuck, he's streaming the new. Cool. Um, and uh, we were playing N64, pished, you know? And uh, I go to the toilet, and he's put on Mario 64, and he's, like, up at the frig- He's already at the friggin', like, stairwell that you go up, and it's, like, you can't get up unless you have 60 stars, and he's already doing that. He's, like, wrecking my fucking N64 controller. He's, like, trying to do that infinite backward jump thing, you know? And I'm, like, oh, God. 
you know, it's definitely a sport, you know, and you have to, like, be into the sort of, like, sporting aspect of it, but I'd rather just play Mario 64 for fun, I suppose. It is like a dragon enjoyable in its own as a JRPG fan, you have to play... You have never played a Yakuza game. Somebody tell him. Somebody tell him. Nah, fuck it. I'll tell you. Yes, yes, 100%. You should play Yakuza like a dragon. Especially if you like Dragon Quest. I promise you'll like it. You need to me at... Uh, need you at BLJ into a GB... What the fuck is that? These are just random letters. What does that mean? Okay, Doug, which is your least favorite Nintendo game between Donkey Kong 64, Mario Sunshine, Metroid, Other M, and... Uh, oh! That's not a... That's not a bad question, like Mario Sunshine. Okay, so I like Skyward Sword, okay? I think Skyward Sword is my favorite out of that list, okay? I'm a Skyward Sword liker, alright? Um... So... I think Other M. I think Other M, because I actually, I probably feel like quite similar about Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario Sunshine in that I don't really like them, but they don't like offend me. I think Other M offends me, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Other M for that one. Oh, air ball. How did I miss this last time? I mean, I was pished, I suppose, but still. Bummer, you can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. I know, Bentley, I know. I, it's always weird saying Bentley's name, by the way, because I have a dog called Bentley now. Well, my folks do. And I'm just so used to being like, Bentley, get down. Um, I probably said this, but I beat on twice and enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, that's fine. But yeah, not me. <laughs> Yeah, the whole reason Like a Dragon is turn-based is because Ichiban is a massive Dragon Quest nerd and he just perceives his fighting like he was playing Dragon Quest, okay? Which is, like, wonderful, you know? Oh, is this it? Hell yes. Dream 5, 8, and 11. Those are not bad choices. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder... Yes! I can wire this <laughs> yes, Leon. Like, people complain about... People complain about... Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, people complain about... Um, people complain about fucking Metroid Other M the way that Sonic fans complain about... Well, every Sonic game, pretty much, you know? Like, there's just these complaints that you know are, like, everywhere, and... Yeah. Well, that was my favourite. 8 was the most challenging. Uh, I think... I don't know if 8's my favourite or 11 is. But I'm, I'm well into Dragon Quest myself, like... I played 4, 5... Uh, six is a cursed game. I've tried to play six like at least three times and I always get like a little bit further and then I just get bored. I don't know what it is. Six just does not do it for me. Uh, I played the 3DS remake of it. I played the DS remakes incidentally and I played the 3DS remake of a uh, seven. That was really good. Played eight on the PS2. That was really good. Didn't like nine. 
I need to play 9 again, though, because it was a Pokemon game. <laughs> you know? I can't wait for that. I keep forgetting this exists, but fucking... They're making a friggin' 2D HD remake of Dragon Quest 3, like Octopath Traveler, alright? I keep forgetting that exists. I want to play that. I want to play that ba so badly, you know? If Sonic Frontiers turned out to be nearly good, really good, I wouldn't put it past Sonic fans to hate the game because it's good. That's I can see that happen in CW. Like, I should never be surprised about what Sonic fans are, like, capable of, you know? The sort of, like, garbo opinions that they can come up with, you know? Oh my god, is Link Mario Samus talking about Star Wars? He is. Fuck. He'll never take- he'll never take the hint. He'll never take the hint. I have to, like, make him feel uncomfortable now. Like I did last time he was in the stream. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't put it past non sonic fans either. <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know, it's funny. Very random little, like, nitpick that I came across, right? But I was watching, um... I was watching a uh, Maximilian dude. And, you know, really like that guy. You know, great streamer. Um, I was watching him and his pals react to the Game Awards, you know? And I don't really like Maximilian dude's pals. I feel like when they get together, Max sort of like talks like differently, which you do when you're around friends, fair enough, but I just don't feel like watching it. But uh, they were watching it, and they were, I obviously, I just skipped ahead because I wanted to see the reactions to Sonic. And you don't go if you're looking for like a gen, how do I put this? Basically, they didn't watch, they weren't going to be excited for Sonic, okay? They were just going to constantly take the piss of it and all that, and I'm just like, whatever, that's the Yo! Video Games way. But, um, they got to, like, the CG trailer for Sonic Frontiers, and... Yeah, Seven Stephen Kenny game guy, there you go. They got to, like, the CG trailer for Sonic Frontiers, and Max, they're just, like, there, and they're just like, oh, Sonic. And then Max just randomly goes, he's gonna turn into a werewolf, you know? Obviously, in his mind, it's like, I'm gonna reference that game that is stupid. <laughs> and, like, that, that was what he did. I really wanted to be in the same room as him, so that I could look him in the eye and say... Max, that game is 13 years old, and then I could just see his face drop, you know? I'm so... I really wish I was in the same room as him to see that, so... There you go. Um, right. So, let's try one more. Oh, right off the bat, there's one. Yeah, that was another, like thing that I just unlocked was able to was the ability to like see breakable objects. So you do actually get some really like useful abilities with these balls, but it's just it's just having to find them all. Really like DMC too much eight. Um I will defend DMC for its gameplay. You know, it's a well put together game. I will not defend DMC for how fucking stupid it is, basically. Like, uh. Like the new Dante's fucking stupid. You know? I'm like, ugh. But if you like it, that's fine. You know? Like when another M came out, you said you really liked it. My point was, I think I'd sour on the game too if I revisit it since I haven't played since 2013. Um, I said I really liked it, did I? Mm, if I did, I probably did not maintain that opinion. Good game for its genre, but not the series. Exactly, Adam. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Have I seen Spider-Man? No, I've not seen Spider-Man. Probably wouldn't see Spider-Man. Not fussed about films anymore, really. Mints. Uh, 
Hello, Peter. All right, Spider-Man. Yeah, of course. Oh, on the bus. Ooh. Is that in the other room or something? No, wait, there's something up there. There's something up there. Oh, fuck, I can't get back now, can I? It's for a good cause. Wait, okay, I have one life. I have one life. Cool. Do I still enjoy anime? I really don't. I was literally just thinking about that the day hookah. Something happened. Oh, bollocks. Something happened to my brain that just st stopped me allowing to enjoy anime. You know? It's weird. Can't even remember what one I was in. Oh my god, I actually, I exited the level, but I actually saved the bottles that I collected. Not bad. Do you have any idea why you stopped liking anime? With that said, do you still enjoy JRPGs? I do still enjoy JRPGs, but I don't like them when they get too anime. Like, see when I say too anime, right? I don't even know what I'm meaning when I say too anime. I'm just meaning like a certain, uh, like just certain tropes that you will get in anime that, you know, get under my, that grind my gears, if you will. But I couldn't tell you what they were until I saw them right in front of me, you know? I'm just like, oh, that's too anime. I don't like that. A hot spring scene. Like, I'll take a hot spring scene. Actually, I was about to say I'll take a hot spring scene in a good game, but I really don't. <laughs> like, what was that? I was playing fucking Persona 5 Strikers, and they went to, like, they went, they go to, like, a hot spring in that game. And they fake you out because they go to one and then they go to another. But the boys, then they, like, get to see the girls until the second time. And literally the same thing that happens in every fucking hot spring scene. Like... I don't know if it's right to, like, in fact, nah, I might as well not bullshit. I've definitely seen, like, hentais where that doesn't happen. You know, the thing that's supposed to happen in a hot spring scene doesn't happen. You know, the thing that you would expect to happen in real life in a hot spring scene does happen, all right? But when it's an anime that's, you know, meant for all ages and shit, nope, it's always got to be the girl finds the guy and... The guy gets uh, severe beaten, and then they go back to being best friends, you know? You're not allowed to have it any other way unless you're a hentai, pretty much, you know? Look, I brought up Star Wars because I <laughs> hate other M various Sonic games yet. Because as much as much hate you think other M... I... Where am I scope there, you know? <laughs> like Mario Zamas, that's what I mean with that, you know? Oh, you want to know more Wii Walrus? You've got Google, alright? You could turn off safe search. You go nuts. Can you some uh, handle that trope in my favorite way? The boys talk about spying on them being illegal and that they find it hotter watching the girls walk out with wet hair. See, that would actually be kind of cool. Yeah, that's... I, I can appreciate that, you know? But at the same time, you know, it's so hard to get, like, any hot... Can I... Fuck it, I don't want to rant about this. God damn it. You all got me trying to be critical of fucking anime that I don't like. What's this? I see Sakura Wars there, though. Um... Last anime, which was Sakura Wars, yeah. Well, I mean, that was the reason why I couldn't enjoy that game. It was too anime. I was just like, no, I can't be arsed. If I just fucked myself over. I think I need to go up here, actually. Okay, here's here's an example, right? Um, fucking, in that game, right? Or the anime as well, which I guess we came into. You know, Sakura Amiyama. Okay, that's the name of the main girl in the new Sakura Wars game, okay? She's shy, all right? She is like every other main girl in any other anime, all right? There's like nothing to her. The only thing she has, the only thing she has that was kind of cute, not gonna lie, is because they, even though it's set in like 1940, they have like phones and they text each other because, you know, 
it's a game that came out in the current day. And she's bad at texting, okay? She keeps making, like, spell mistakes and uh, they autocorrect. She doesn't know how to work it, okay? That's cute, but that's literally all she has. Every other thing that you can imagine a main girl in anime doing, that's pretty much all she does, you know? No, not even Hatsu, um, CW, because Hatsu is just the red-headed, fiery one, all right? Fucking Anastasia's the big sister with the big tits, obviously, all right? Um, yeah, it's just really tropey. <laughs> I don't like getting emotional about fucking anime. Uh, or things being too anime, okay? This was supposed to be a happy stream. <laughs> she's basically moe. It's like, again, everything that she sort of does and Oh god, don't get me started on the emo moment she has. You know, when she starts, like, getting all depressed and stuff. She becomes, like, a little fucking... Oh my god, how are you supposed to like this character? <laughs> you like her because she's cute and the main character promised that he'd marry her when they were little. It's like, again, literally. I'll say it, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Don't just watch one anime, alright? Watch two animes. Okay. We love depressed anime, oh fuck that. No, I can't watch depressed anime. Because Japan doesn't hold back. Japan never holds back. Holy shit. I watched like 10 minutes of Grave of the Fireflies. Oh my good god. There's a... S oh, is there? When does that show up? CW. Oh shit. Recommend Elven Lied. Elven Lied, man. Oh my god, that- not only is that anime depressing, it's shit, alright? Like, I'm okay with saying that, it's shit. You wanna know why it's shit? Why do you guys do this to me? Like, there's a chemical that gets released in my brain, okay? That makes me like this, alright? And you all release it, okay? You guys are releasing chemicals in my brain, are you happy about that? Alright? Are you happy? You like seeing me like this? <laughs> But no, the thing about, like, the thing about Elven Lied is that it's this depressing as fuck shit anime that is also too anime in my description because it still has those scenes where, what's, what's the name of the girl again with the hordes? You know, Aiko did it better. Like, she has these moments where she's all about, like, acting cute and, like, getting her tits out, but she doesn't really, she's not shy about getting her tits out. And you have these, like, you have cousin on cousin romance and stuff. Ah. And on top of it, you just want to have this, like, this depressing as fuck gory shit. It's like, it's so... I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Give me an example of an anime that aren't too anime for you. I mean, the last anime I watched, and it was a good few years ago that I really liked, was probably One Punch Man. And everybody watched that, you know? Um... Again, when I say something's too anime, I'm just talking about a certain set of tropes that I don't like. Because there are certain anime tropes that I do like, you know? Like, even Yakuza. Yakuza's very anime, you know? But it's anime in the way that I kind of like it. So I will admit it's a total me thing, alright? Just because I don't like things like Elven Lied, uh, the new Sakura Wars and stuff like that, doesn't mean that nobody else can, okay? It's not like an objectively bad thing. Actually, where the fuck did those... Oh, it's back there. Oh, shit. Bayonetta bloody fate. I mean, there is a scene where Bayonetta comes out of the bath and Luca gets all embarrassed, alright? But Bayonetta is very... You know, she's definitely not your typical anime girl, is she? So, I'll let that one slide. That's something that Bayonetta would do, you know? But no, that was a good I, I did I did like that anime. You know, being a bloody fate. I did watch that. It was really well animated. What is my least favourite mainline Zelda? Um, provided we're not talking about the CDI games, probably Hourglass, maybe? Maybe, yeah. 
I still remember you said you watch too much anime. That's a load of shite. And I suggested Lawrence. <laughs> oh god, I'm having a brain fart, Ramura. Who's Lawrence again? Death Note or Attack on Titan? Well, I did watch Death Note, alright? I didn't watch Attack on Titan. I watched like one episode of Attack on Titan. I was just like, nope, I'm good. Because I was a bit older and more bitter, I suppose, but... Like, Death Note, I got to the end of Death Note. I don't think I would ever watch it again, but I got to the end, so there you go. You do like Mario Samus, and it's quite shite. Is Scarlet Nexus a good game, CW? Because I kept looking at that thinking I wouldn't mind getting that a wee play, you know? Hello, Tama. Yep, it was alright. Yourself? Crew member who is now oh that guy. <laughs> okay, I think the reason I said you watch too much anime, Ramura, is because you know Lawrence is kind of that an edgy. He's he's Cloud Strife basically. He's Cloud Strife if no shit, no bad shit happened to Cloud Strife basically. You know, and because you know Cloud's sort of character is a total, um, you know. Good for the anime romance and all that, I suppose. I totally did not listen to Bentley there. What did we just get? What, what did I just get there, guys? What ability did I just get? S oh, slowing down time. Oh, that oh, yeah, but only in the air. I don't know if this is good or not, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Yeah, this isn't too helpful, this. Okay. Fuck this. Let's get back to mugshots levels. I used to have conversations with my friends, Link Mario Samus, about whether or not... Uh, Wind Waker was actually cell shaded because I was convinced that Wind Waker was not cell shaded. You want to know why I thought that? It's gonna sound really stupid, right? Because obviously it is cell shaded, but I didn't think it was cell shaded because the characters didn't have like that black outline around them. Like it's just that sort of like cartoony looking style. And yeah, exactly. There you go. Whereas Jet Set, look at this game, like this game has like little lines around the characters and stuff and I, for some reason, I thought that it needed that to be considered cell shaded. Which of course is totally not true, but again, that's just how my stupid brain works sometimes. Totally looks like Dimitri's hideout here or something. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. Oh, I forgot the howl. Bet you oh my god, I'm still alive. Now I've lost both my horseshoes, get you. Bet ya nickel they howl. I don't know if Leon's still listening. He's the only one I know who will get that reference. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're going... You're quite into talking about other M now, aren't you, Link Mario Samus? I mean, yeah, I think... I think that Samus was really badly represented and shit. You know? And I don't like the fact that it's a bit too linear. Mainly the Sam, mainly the Samus thing. I think it was just such a badly written game to do a COVID test. Okay, so I got hit by the fucking dugs and they howled, and I said, "Bet ya nickel they howl." All right, that one's for you, Leon. Okay, you're welcome. Ever played Gex one? Yes, I did play Gex. Yeah, Gex is a good game. I need to get around to playing the other ones, but I've, I like the first one. I agree it was badly written, but I hate the insinuation that the game's plot is somehow bad because it's sexist. I mean, even... <laughs> like, I know it's kind of a... I know it's practically a word that's lost all meaning in the current day, but even if it wasn't sexist, like Mario Samus, it would still be kind of shit, I feel. Because isn't there, like, massive plot holes that they never even fucking, like, got round to? Because there's this, like, bad guy, the deleter? Yeah, the deleter, and we never learn who it fucking is, you know? Um, have you played Bugs Bunny? I haven't, Link Mario Samus. No, I've heard that's a good one, too. That was the PS1, right? I played Xenogears. Yep, I played Xenogears, but yeah, I can't remember a thing about it. <laughs> yeah, I think I get where you're coming from, Hookah. Well, put it this way, Link Mario Samus, right? I feel like, you know, when it comes to a game's story, there's almost like, or this can't, doesn't even have to apply to like video games, it can apply to films or whatever, you know? You're gonna have like the sort of like the plot, i.e. the story, and you're gonna have the characters, right? I feel like good characters can carry a shit plot, but not necessarily vice versa. Even if the plot or the story is good, but your main characters are, you don't really care about them, you're not really as invested. And I feel like that kind of applies to like Samus, I mean, Fair enough. You can make the claim that she never really had a character in the older games, and that's kind of was her appeal, but the fact that they gave her a character in this one and it was shite really killed it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody's making that comparison like Mario Samus. Calm down. Wait, was that the same developer, Leon? Because I actually played the Grunch on the PS1. I actually remember liking that game. <laughs> Did I ever play Mega Man X7? I didn't. Isn't that the shite one? Isn't that like the worst one? Same engine? Alright, okay. That's interesting, actually. Might need to give that a go. That Grunch game on the PS1 was surprisingly good, I feel. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's been years since I fucking played it, mind you. Mm. My friend had it, Leon, yeah, on the PS1. I know there was a Dreamcast version. I've never tried that, though. Maybe that could have been a Christmas game to stream. I played Fusion, not Federation Force. Please play for funny moments. <laughs> I sometimes wonder, like, should I ever do, like, a streams highlights video? But I quickly decide not to do it because that would take, like, so much work, <laughs> you know? And I'm, like, way too lazy. Yeah, look at these, look at these, look at this physics engine. Look at this physics engine in action here, all right? I guess you could say it's right on the money. There was literally a cricket noise. There was literally a cricket noise when I said that. Even the game is mocking me. Holy shit. You heard that, right? There was a cricket noise. Oh, jinx. See, that would make a good stream highlight, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I'm too lazy to go back and remember it, you know? <laughs>
Actually, I keep forgetting I have binoculars that will tell me where all the bottles are too. I should probably start using that. <laughs> oh my god, this is a little Auron. <laughs> oh man, I haven't made fun of Italians in a while. Shit. Um... I'll think of something in a minute. Jerry by Hooker, thanks for dropping in. You could say the physics are so good. Oh god. Shut the fuck up, Epic Mind. <laughs> yeah, probably my favourite stealth game. Kind of a cliche answer, but Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. That's one of those games that when I think about it, I'm just like, oh fuck, why don't I stream that? I would stream the sh shit, 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 shit. Game over. Fuck. I would stream the shit out of uh, Metal Gear Solid, like all the games. That may actually, or in. Metal Gear Solid 4 might be the game to get me to finally download that PS3 emulator you keep trying to get me to download. <coughs> do all Italians love pizza? They do, Ramura. Especially the ones with pineapple on them. If you're ever in Italy and you ask for pizza, you always order the one with pineapple, right? They'll respect you. Stream the first one. Yeah, I would stream them all. Like, I really like Metal Gear, you know? <laughs> I'm Hello, Hidden Gem Gamers. How are you doing? Yeah. Like, Metal Gear Solid 4, I want to say, like, I don't know actually. Like, do people like Metal Gear Solid 4? Or is that game's legacy tarnished now? Like, there's nobody, nobody, you never seen many people talk about MGS4 anymore, sadly. Everybody talks about the other ones, like even 2, which I always assumed was the one everybody hates, but I really liked 4, you know? Extremely polarizing, yeah, no kidding. Well, the bosses were like an incarnation. Well, they were their own thing, Tama, I feel. But they were cool, you know, the B&Bs, you know? Um, because, you know, that was that's always like a thing to like consider when going over Metal Gear games as the group of bosses. Because you had, obviously, like, Foxhound, Dead Cell, the Cobras, and then the B&Bs. The Cobras were the best, obviously. Like, does anybody disagree that the Cobras were the best bosses? Yeah, that's another thing, Leon. <sighs> Again, it makes me depressed because it is Konami, but that needs to, like, fucking come to modern platforms, MGS4, you know? Like, that's a game that would really benefit from, like, a HD, a sort of, like, port or something, you know? That it's a bit modernized. Actually, I actually remember uh, there was a rumor for a little bit about, um, about Bluepoint doing a Metal Gear Solid 4. Four port, and I'm like, yes, that's wonderful. Get Blue Point to do Metal Gear Solid Four, but that's not the case. Oh god, you got the Rona, Oren. Oh man, have you had your day of being not well yet? My mum and my stepdad caught it over Christmas. I've, I've not even seen them since Christmas yet. Who do I prefer, Permanent Head or Nemesis? Oof, they're very different, Ramira. 
Considering if you've played Silent Hill 2 and you understand the implications of Pyramid Head, yeah, he's quite a, he's quite the character, isn't he? But Nemesis is really iconic in his own right. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Resident Evil 3, actually. I like it, but it's kind of one of my lesser favourite Resident Evils, to be honest. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion or not. But, yeah, I'm, I, I think I would say Pyramid Head, personally. Yeah, CW, I'd love it if they <laughs> remade Ico as well. We got cheated out of that. One random memory I have of Metal Gear Solid 4 is that, I think it was like, I can't remember exactly when it happened, but the game did get like a patch for trophies, like a good few years after it came out. And this was around the time that I would always like go on games. GameSpot, you know? And GameSpot had, like, their sort of, like, ranking for various games um, overall. And it was about, like, their sort of, like, their activity, how many people were clicking on them, and uh, how many people were, like, posting on the forums and stuff. And on the day that Metal Gear Solid 4 got its patch, it shot up to number one, all right? And I remember thinking, oh, fuck, that's a big deal. <laughs> I don't know if it was a big deal because I was an impressionable... I don't know how fucking old I was, but yeah, that was a thing that happened, I remember. But now you have left the EU, so you gotta pay import fees. Ah. <laughs> uh, have you seen the <coughs> six-part Xbox documentary yet? It's, caught, it's quite canon about the Red Ring. Is that the one that they um, showed off in that Xbox anniversary stream objective? No, I, I haven't seen it yet, no. Uh-oh. Why is... Oh, wait, that's what... Oh, I've just remembered, yeah. So, I can't look for objects in this area yet because... Yeah, you need to, like, every level has their own, like, now you can, like, search for bottles and breakable objects, but you need to unlock it in the level. It's okay. Okay, I've got it now. I've got it now. Yeah, I never even went for, like, the... <laughs> I never even went for the Platinum in Metal Gear Solid 4. I don't think I even played... I don't think I've ever actually played Metal Gear Solid 4 since that trophy patch came out. Fuck! Um... Again, I really like Metal Gear Solid 4, so I really sh I really should give it a try. Should probably download that patch before <laughs> PSN gets shut down again. I play Resident Evil 6 very briefly, very briefly, and that was enough. God, Resident Evil 6, that wasn't he off some amount of lanky old pish, was it? Like, I always say this whenever I talk about Resident Evil 6, but I feel bad for Resident Evil 5. Because I used to, like, the way I talk about Resident Evil 6, I used to talk about Resident Evil 5. It's like, oh, it's too action oriented. This isn't my Resident Evil. You know, I would literally say it in that voice. You know, that's literally how I, we all sounded when we were like teenagers, you know? And we all thought we had the world figured out. Um, <clears throat> but no, Resident Evil 5 is actually pretty good. <laughs> no. Maybe not the best Resident Evil game, but it is pretty good. I think I tried to emulate. Klonoa 2. Oh no, wait, I, I think I was wanting to do Klonoa 1 first. There's a lot of games I want to stream, guys. <laughs> Jerry by Renoa, thanks, Ramura. Thanks for dropping in. Ooh. 
Okay, four more. Please don't tell me I've missed any. Because <laughs> that would be immense. Oh my god, there's, there's the... Oh my god. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. Please let the ball be up here. Please let the ball be up here. Yes! It almost turned into a Crash Bandicoot moment. Echi no se. I know, CW, that's why, man, it's the worst Your fucking feeling. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Okay, we have a ground pound, basically. Oh my god, what an un... Wait, what title? I know what game I can ask you about now. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Hmm. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Well. The fuck you want me to say? It was PlayStation Smash Brothers, you know? Like, does anybody actually dispute that? Like Spyro more than Ratchet. Fair enough, Warren. You're your own man, all right. You're your own Italian, you know. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think who was that. You know who was actually okay. I know this, right? You know who was um, rumored to be in PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. I'm pretty sure I've seen like artwork done of them. I'm not gonna say who it is, I'm gonna see if anybody can remember as well. The character that I really would have been excited as fuck to see in the game but never came to it. Who wants to try and guess? I'm talking about PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Yes, like Mario Samus, you got it in one. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Dart. Um, that was uh, Legend of Dragoon was literally Legend of Dragoon. I've talked about, actually I have talked about this before, maybe that's why you all remember it, but yeah, Legend of Dragoon was literally my very first JRPG. I didn't think any, I, I didn't think any other game was like it. When I first played Skies of Arcadia, which was my second JRPG, I, I thought to myself, they've riffed off Legend of Dragoon. You can hit guard, you can hit attack, you've got to wait till your turn. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why, do, why is it ripped off? That's, I had those, I literally had those thoughts, you know? Was Cat from... Yeah, Cat was there, CW. That was one that I really liked as well. Gravity Rush is really good, you know. Uh, Y'all should play Gravity Rush. It's a bra time. Yeah. There were some... There were some good picks in the PlayStation All-Stars. So like... Like, they had that general from Killzone. I remember thinking, that's actually quite cool. Because that was a hell of a bastard of a boss in Killzone too. I remember it quite vividly, you know. And then there were some picks that weren't so hot, like, um, like who else was there that was a bit shite? Like, yeah, uh, I have nothing against the game, but Fat Princess didn't garner a lot of hype, you know? Fuck. Yeah, that's a big... You know what's, you know what's actually quite scary, CW, alright? Friggin' Sony 
has two Japanese game studios right now, okay? They have Polyphony Digital that make the Gran Turismo games, and they have Team Asobi that makes the um, Astrobot, you know? You know how many Japanese studios Microsoft owns, okay? They own one because they acquired Tango Softworks when they bought Bethesda. But I don't think they... I don't think... This, this is something that I always, like, think of, but I don't think they can actually, uh... Buy Japanese Studio. I think there's a law about that. That's always something that comes up whenever you hear about Microsoft buying Sega. I have no idea how true it is, but... Microsoft is clearly still cares a lot about Japan, you know? So, I'm just thinking, could it be possible that we go into a future where Microsoft has more Japanese developers under their wing than Sony? That would just be wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? That Ben Studio. Uh, ben Studio. Was that the, um... Was that the Days Gone guys? There's an investment law that requires permission from the Japanese Trade Ministry, I believe. Right, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Ben Stu when you say Ben Studio is next, you mean they're gonna get shut down? Activision Blizzard for worst gaming company. Link Mario Samus, I've been saying that for years, okay? And I can't help but be bitter about it because now everybody in the world thinks that because Bobby Kotick wanted to get his dick wet, alright? I don't think he actually did do that, but he was a prick anyway, so I'll say it anyway, okay? Like, all that shit came down and now everybody is like, oh, Link Mark, Link, uh, you know, <sighs> Activision Blizzard, worst company! <laughs> worst company! And I'm just like, I've been saying that for years, I've been saying that for years. So yeah, just a little bit vindictive about that. <laughs> oh, who just foleyed? Um, Sly Cooper the Thief 69. <laughs> I wonder why you followed. Uh, I will do two and three, I promise. <laughs> so you can stick her in for that. Uh, as Japan taking more to the Xbox series, care about the territory. See. That's the thing, Leon, I've literally told you this before, right? See, even if the Xbox is doing trash in Japan, right? I don't... Microsoft doesn't really care about that, okay? They don't care about sales in Japan necessarily. What they care about is the developers, okay? And it's pretty hard to, like, convince a developer, like some of the big publishers like Capcom and all that, to make a game for your console when they can't even buy their console or if Microsoft is showing no interest in that their own territory, you know? So, of course, Microsoft sees the value in Japan in terms of, like, the game industry, okay? And they obviously want their console to do good there, all right? They want the Japanese to like them because they like them, and it's just so synonymous with gaming and that, you know? So, yeah, when people say that about Microsoft, it kind of... That's one of my pet peeves, I suppose, you know what I mean? I think it's not every busy hating EA. Yeah, I always hated Bobby Kotick, always hated Activision, God damn it. No, it's entirely true, but after what they do, Japan Studios, who knows? <laughs> Is that true, Marshall? Fucking hell. Here, duck. There's a way you brought Star Wars into it again. I didn't even talk about, like, loot boxes or that, you know? We were talking about worst publisher, but, yeah. Yeah, EA were definitely taking a lot of heat back then, you know? Yeah, it's easier to get a Series S, Sly Cooper. Yeah, not necessarily a... Um... Series X. I think the 360 did the best, was the best Xbox that performed in Japan. Um. Oh my god, this. This is a good track, this. I didn't think Bethesda was like the worst company, but they were obviously quite stupid. And they just kept fucking up and fucking up and fucking up. You know? 
It had more of a oh Bethesda quality to it, you know. Alright, how do you do this again? Micro machines. I love how Murray just like sticks his heat at the windy like that. Like he literally can't fit into his own van, you know? I think I'm definitely going to have to restart this, like... You know that meme with Drake, where he's like, he doesn't like the look of Sutton, but then he likes the look of Sutton? We need to apply that to Murray, you know, like his before and after phase. All right. Why didn't I get the boost? Can I restart this? This is shite. I did not play it. They used to call it Crapcom 10 years ago. Yeah, I remember when Capcom was the most hated publisher back in, like, the seventh generation. You know, that was a that was a bad time for Japan, you know. Like, Japan is, like, I think collectively Japan is has more power than, like, not Japan uh, in the games industry right now. Because you have all these, like, big publishers that are just fucking up so badly. And, you know, sure, Literally, the worst thing you could say about most uh, Japanese publishers is that they're in the NFTs, you know? But they're making fantastic games, you know? So, there you go. All right, Marshall. Yeah, again, it is just it is just really sad to see them to see Sony that is have a lot less um, have a lot less confidence in Japanese developers, you know, because they're doing the best that they've ever done right now. Like Capcom is on fire, Square's doing really good, so is Sega, Namco, Konat, maybe not them, but still. Can't all be winners. I look like the thought. Oh my god, this is hard. So you should move. See, the thing is, I suppose I should clarify CW, okay? It's mainly PlayStation that's becoming more of a Western thing. Not Sony. Sony is obviously still Japanese. And PlayStation is owned by Sony, but PlayStation is now American, if that makes sense, you know? I really have to concentrate right now, guys. Faster! Can they even use these things? Oh, shit. Now, there's... Actually, these guys are sticking their heat at their cars and all. What is it? Somebody just farted or son. Has Bentley farted? Murray, is that why you're sticking your heat at? Because, you know, Bentley will totally be in the back there, would, would he know? I can't get past this guy! This is the final lap now. Am I missing something? Is there, a, is there like another boost thing that I'm, I'm not doing properly? I don't think I'm boosting enough, I think that's the problem. 
Right, let's try again. The fuck you saying? Uh, it sucks so hard to get the PS5 and I even have the money for it. I know, Psyker, I know it. I had to work so hard to get mine, you know. <laughs> I know everybody's all chatty the night collector done. Main number nine, that was an adventure. Don't miss one boost, okay. I'm gonna trust the guy who's actually called Sly Cooper in the chat. But what do I do if they take it first? Alright. I'm getting fucking Mario Kart here. On PlayStation. I think I was a deck there. We're doing better, we're doing better. We need some really good, like, kick arse inspirational music to go along with this right now. Not that this. Fuck you! Not that this music's uh, not good. You know, I'm excited when I do the owl noise. Crash tour, crash three, crash three. The Murray. He's like a giant baby, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Sly Koopa. I got a, I got a, I, okay, I got a conversation for y'all that's maybe gonna end the three that's currently going on. What was, like, the biggest 180 in terms of, like, a character in gaming, okay? I can actually think of another one that has to do with Sly Cooper, but I can't bring it up because of spoilers, but, yeah, Murray is probably one of them. I mean, actually, it wasn't really the biggest 180, he was still, like, a big, dumb Jack 1, Jack 2. I would argue that Jack just got a character in Jack 2, as opposed to not having one in a in Jack 1. Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, when? <laughs> He's probably 180 360s all the way over by now. I'm down all around, yeah. Right, I think... Yeah, that's three. Yeah, okay. Is it three? <laughs> Being a Jad, does Naughty Dog go on the naughty list? I'm not convinced that they do. See, I know everybody's got, like, beefs about Last of Us 2. But I don't know, I feel like just as many people really liked it. 
Like, I feel like the biggest beef people have with Last of Us 2 has to do with more like the direction they went with the story and not agreeing with it. You know? Not that I would know. Fuck Last of Us, I'm not playing that shit. <laughs> not for me. If you like the game. Oh, I've played them all, Sly Cooper, you know? Um, big platforming guy here. Um, in fact, if you don't know, popular opinion, Sly 2 is my least favourite. Sly 2 is my least favourite. We'll probably talk about that when we get to it, but <laughs> yeah, I know that's going to win me a lot of points. Can I get four more coins so I can get a thing? <laughs> Would you look at that ugly mug? I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind I have no idea if you could see that. I was trying to get the frame. Slide 3 is my favorite! I loved Slide 3, you know? I presume you like sleep. No, I like Thieves in Time more than 2. I thought Thieves in Time was excellent. You know? Like, I don't know if it's like... I don't hear many Sly fans go off on that game, you know? Aside from, again, one particular plot point that universally is hated, but yeah. But I don't th even think that is like enough for people to go fully off of Sly, I think. Why would I fight you for having an extremely common opinion, <laughs> Oren? The thing that I remember most about Sly 3 being my favourite, honestly, was its story, you know? Like, I gave a shit about what all the characters were doing, you know? Like, they put, they put fucking Bentley in a wheelchair, you know? It's like, what the fuck? But they actually, like, made him grow as a character and shit. You didn't need to do that, but they did, and I'm like, that is, that's banging. I like that. <laughs> and lagging. There's another anime that I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, we don't want we don't want Leon making paragraphs because if you egg him on enough, he will. He will make all these paragraphs about Sly and shit. He's quite passionate. Yeah, that was the coolest thing, Marshall, was going back and actually meeting these ancestors, you know? Forget it. Your cane will never smash that thick glass. You'll need something super heavy, like that big recce ball up there.
No, I think it's a fair comparison, uh, Cool Breeze, because this game, not the sequels, but this game is very much structured like a Crash Bandicoot game. A lot of the levels are linear, you access them from a HUD, you take one hit, you die, etc, etc. You know, the other games didn't really pan out like that, you know? When are you gonna finish your slide to- oh fuck off, Oren. Go and beat it. Beat it, alright? Go back, alright? Go outside. Okay, I'm sure the weather's good in Italy, alright? Just go outside. No, wait, you can't go outside because you're self-isolating, aren't you? Alright. That sounds mean, actually, sorry. <laughs> what is different in Slide Tune 3? Is it more of a sandbox collect-a-thon? The structure is pretty much the same for Sly 2 and 3. There's like more playable characters and... Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same structure really, yeah. And Sly 4 also sort of took that structure as well. It did come out during the GTA craze, but I don't think it really took from GTA. You know, like, games like Jack and Daxter and Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, for that matter, they took inspiration from GTA, for sure. But no, I wouldn't say Sly did. To think back then, we were, like, getting sick of open-world games. Look at us now, eh? We thought it was a craze that was gonna die. Oh, mints. Rain Galaxy 2 made me lose interest in the open world sandbox. I have an opinion about this cool breeze, but I don't know if I want to give it, because I don't think you like seeing me rant. <laughs> You've heard me rant about this topic before. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I press F to pay respects. What are we paying respects to? Am I cancelled? Are we paying respects because I got cancelled? Is it because I was mean to Auron? <laughs> Do I know the meme? Yes, uh, yes, like Mario Samus, I'm, a, I'm relatively aware of that meme. Uh, there's another cricket noise there. They're just mocking me at this point. Need a drink, guys. Be right back. For Sly to return, blah 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 blah. Are you? Um, again, I'll I'll have to work this carefully, Sly Cooper. Otherwise, certain people in the chat will go mental and post paragraphs. But I wouldn't say no. 
I wouldn't they say not. The ending of Sly 4 doesn't bother me that much. Well, it bothers me a little, but I can live with it, you know? But, you know, it's like... More Sly is more Sly, you know? Oh, uh, Leon's, Leon's gonna head out. Okay, in that case, we can talk about Sly some more, it's fine. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> Bye, Leon. We'll speak to you after. <laughs> oh, you're actually not going. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I haven't made it abundantly clear, yeah, Leon is just a big Sly fan, and uh, we talk on Discord, and... I've- you think I go off? Okay, I've heard Leon talk about his feelings towards, like, you know, Sly 4 and, uh, it's ending quite a bit. Not that I blame him, obviously. Yeah, I don't think it's like the worst ending that it could have, but bad ending doesn't destroy a good game. That's a good way of looking at it, Collectathon. Yeah. Go on then, watch some of your worst video game endings. You know what will make it interesting? Cliffhangers don't count, so no Shenmue 2. No Ratchet and Clank Tales of Destruction. What were just really bad endings for you? Um, oh, Soulful Self. Split second. Was that No That Game by Disney? That racing game, that's got a story. How the fuck does Sonic 1 have a bad ending? You talking with or without the Chaos Emeralds or what? Sonic just kills himself and goes off and cries to his mother. Isn't that like every Sonic game? Well, actually, no, it's not. What the fuck am I saying? All right. Again, I'm not saying... Because a cliffhanger is quite an easy pick, you know? Which I guess by extension means like sequel bait. Like the ending that... The one that's definitely coming to mind, I'm sure many of you will agree, was Mass Effect 3. Nobody would shut the fuck up about that for months. Uh, I never even finished... Um, Mass Effect 3, but yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. And I can't even mind how that game ended. I know some people. I know it's like sort of a cliffhanger, but again, I think that f I would say that falls under the category of like bad ending doesn't make it the game bad or something. I don't know. I know you don't like it, but no, I think it, was it doesn't bother me anyway. What fuck game have you been playing, Collectathon? Shut the fuck up. Oh wait, you're a troll. Of course, he's... Oh, you're so funny.
Rift Apart? What was wrong with Rift Apart's ending? Okay, we can't... Okay, maybe this is a bad topic and we can't actually talk about it, can we? Um... Oh boy. Uh... One thing... One thing about these streams, Sly Cooper, if you type out a comment and it takes up like a big... a lot of lines, I'm probably going to take the piss out of it, you know? Don't like reading paragraphs, but... You're new, you're new, so <clears throat> let's read this. I will say this which bugs me so much is when people get frustrated with bugs and glitches when a game first comes out and people come out and complain saying, well, the game should be polished, there shouldn't be bugs or glitches. Well, here's the thing, technology so advanced that they can just update the game and then things are fixed up. And me, I'm just like, stop complaining and shut up, lol. Um, pretty much disagree with that. Sly, obviously updating games are a good thing, you know, the fact that game developers now have this thing that if something is bad with their game, they can release something and update it relatively quickly, but again, it's just like, you look at so many games as of late, you know, it's just like, why the fuck did you make people pay for this with the intention of fixing it later, you know, it's not cool, it's not cool, and of course everybody's just gonna bitch about it because they bought the thing that doesn't work, like I'm immediately thinking of like, Grand Theft Auto here, which is like a broke, which is like a dead horse at this point, I know, but yeah, I feel bad for anybody who spent <laughs> their money on that, you know? Even if it does get better, right? That's not gonna go away, uh, that reputation, you know? Tie 3, I'm not actually beating Tie 3, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> right, the Ozol. Oh yeah, I know game development is hard as shit, alright? I get it, but at the end of the day, you're making a product, you're wanting to sell, you want to make sure people like that shit, you know what I mean? And not a lot of people do, sadly. Especially, especially when it's like some remake or remaster of an old game, okay? That was like, you guys remember the, you remember the Silent Hill HD collection? Holy crap, alright? That's like the abs... I want to say... Do I make this bold claim? I want to say that was worse than Grand Theft Auto. But, like, just think about it. A game that's, like, so many, like, decades old needs, like, a patch, you know? And I get that in the case of, like, Grand Theft Auto. And even Sonic Colors Ultimate, which I liked, you know? Those, those are obviously, like, made on completely new engines and are gonna have, like, their own set of problems. But I am with people who want to complain about it because it is, kind of, shouldn't be the standard, you know? Yeah, Marshall, I remember about all that shit, like, <laughs> losing the fucking source code, but opting to release the game anyway. <clears throat> that sounds like it was hell. Ratchet Trilogy on Vita. No, it was shite. <laughs> was not a good port at all, in my honest opinion. Oh shit, I don't think I can go any further, can I? Fuck. No, oh, wait, yeah, I can. Never mind. Duck, you should join a game dev studio with your C-sharp skills. No, I don't think I'm... Like, I'm a web developer, but I... I would... Yeah, it feels like a completely different ball game, you know? Even though you're technically doing programming, I feel like there's way more to 
game development than there is web development. Which Sly Game is my fave? Uh, three! Um, Remlum. Hello, by the way. Thank you for joining us. Uh, did you ever take 3D computer graphics in school? I did do a course like that in, um, in university. Oh, what's the name of that? Oh, what's the name of that software that Valve uses? That's what I remember being told at the time. It's like the same graph 3D graphics software that Valve uses. But I can't remember what it was actually called. Help me out here, Cool Breeze. Unitate? No, no, it wasn't like an engine necessarily. It was like... It had its own name. Fuck, can't even mind. Here, one and four are good. They're all good, Remlum, you know? <laughs> My and uh, Hammer and Turno. That sounds more like it, 3D Studio Max. I, I don't actually know if that is it, but it's the most accurate so far, I would say. Oh god, we're getting a lot of first time showers here. Like a plug into an engine. I don't know. It was just it was just something that I made 3D graphics on for a course in uni. Um And it was shite, you know, I'm not a good like 3D model builder person, you know. Yes! Alright, where the fuck is this safe? What's my favorite game ever besides Sly? Will I tell them or will you people? <laughs> Blender. That sounds kind of right. To I cannot remember. It's been. You know how old I am? It's, um. It's been a while. Okay, everybody's taking the piss here. My favorite game of all time is Shenmue. This is, uh, you actually, this is kind of a rarity on here because we're usually doing a lot of, like, um, we're usually doing, like, a lot of, uh, fucking Sega stuff. But I just felt, I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima on the PS5, so I kind of fancied some more sucker, some old school sucker punch shit. So, yeah. What are you calling Shenmue shit, Hazel Lumox? Good. You love it? Alright, cool. I've streamed it like hundreds of times. In fact, I'm actually do a Shenmue 2 stream. Because I said I would probably stream that American beta for the Dreamcast version. You don't have to at me, I can read all your shit. Uh, never even heard of the game. But I'm sure it's a great game. You never heard of Shenmue, oh my word. We're gonna have to sort this, I think we should play Shenmue right now. Nah, we won't, but yeah. Oh, you mean this one, Marshall? That I got from my game room earlier. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, just, I was literally just like throwing it around, it's like, that would be... It wouldn't be a bad one, because I do like the game a lot, you know? Once you've streamed the Japanese... Once you've streamed the Japanese version of Sonic Adventure, why not do the same with Shenmue? I mean... Hmm. Like, just all the text in Japanese. I would try it, Leon. It's really good. I know you've got... I know you've got Project 64 there. Rocket Robot on Wheels. More like Shen Mule. Um, that's disappointing, Collective Fun. You could have said like Shit Mew. All right. You could have said Shen Poo. You know, but instead you went with Shen Mule. You're a shit troll, by the way. I 
know that in 64 game that's a mm -hmm. yeah good old sucker punch <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hazel. <laughs> Mischief Makers, that was an alright game. Yeah. Treasure. Well, I use the Eric Kill, so I'm... Um, I wonder, CW. Did they actually get Eric Kelso to just voice all the lines and just made the mod? Like, I've not actually looked into it too much, but... So they literally got him to just... <laughs> that seems so weird, you know? Not that I'm... Not that I'm ragging on it or whatever, but maybe I'll try it, maybe. But again, Greg Chun does a good job. You know, he does. he's an alright Ren, you know? Actually mimics the... Uh, Eric Kelso's voice pretty well. These rooftops are filthy. Well, they are the only way to get to the key, since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near Mugshot's penthouse. Oh, this music. <laughs> Segata Sanchido. That's uh, that's Landy's voice actor. No, no, that's a wow, fuck, fuck. Mix that up, shit. Fake shit, new fan right here. Just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up this box. I said at the beginning of the last let's play, anybody getting a bit? Is it just hot in here or? Oof. Whenever Carmelita Fox comes into the room, you know? Now, see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm has got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you. Flirt their flirting's not so hot, though. <laughs> as long as you don't mind dining. In jail. Nah, I hear the surface is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. I remember thinking that Carmelita was probably at her, at her best in Sly 4 too. Like, I actually, again, talking about how much I dug the story in that game, I really dug her character development as well. Like, how she's, like, uh, trying to, like, change Sly for the better, but he's been a dick about it, and she is quite rightfully <laughs> pissed off about it for most of the game, you know? Give you a cool info about Carmelia. Apparently, when her character was being created, they based it off the character from DC. A character from DC. Hmm. Uh, which game was it where she sounded like she had a cold? That I can't remember actually. <laughs> Do 
It's so funny that she literally has four different voice actors, you know? I feel like that if they were to make a Sly 5, I feel like they should just recast her for the hell of it, you know? Like, I'm not too familiar with the series that I don't know what my favourite is to, but yeah. Last two ones. Should be in here. Hell yes. Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. Sly Cooper, We can't talk about that. Some people haven't played Sly 4. You're right, though. It was a, it was humming what they did there, though. So. Last up. How much am I gonna scream at the off? Wait, you mean the friggin' rhythm game? I I'm banging at that. All right, didn't I? <laughs> How did I do that during my uh, let's play? Was it shite? Was it a disgrace? Those of you who don't know, don't listen to Collect the Fawn, he's just like that. Right, how many is that? Is there no. There it is. I think I have five? Aye, two mil. Murray's Big Gamble. Oh god, that sounds fun. Back alley heist. Actually, was there one outside that I've missed? Ah. 
Murray's big gamble. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. I'm surprised they haven't brought this up yet, but even the character models look like really weird, don't they? Time to move, Sly. No. Look at the look at that physics engine do work for Mur uh, Murray's belly, by the way. the hell? How did you get hit there, Murray? Don't talk pish. Oh, no. I must not have to hit the barrels. No. The controls are inverted, by the way, so that's why I'm kind of shaking a bit a bit. Fuck. <clears throat> Off way. Ah, I see we tried to get me to do there. Can I hit Murray right now? Probably can. How's that Murray's big gamble? He was just staying his job. Murray looks like Barney the Dinosaur. Cheers, CW. Now everybody's not going to be able to not see that. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking of... Now it might just be me only, but Murray in this game looks like an anime... I don't know. I mean, if he, if he was an anime character... They wouldn't have applied the jiggle physics to his belly, if you know what I'm saying. You know, so he's. Mm, I disagree on that one. <clears throat> and do all the Sly games have different cutscenes in the Japanese version? I don't know. You know, it's funny, Marshall. I was actually talking to Leon about this. About how, like,. Sly 2 was apparently released in, a, like, a lot of different countries and had, like, a lot of different languages. Look up the South Korean, co uh, like, cover for any of the Sly games. I don't think all of them were released there, but it has, like, like different artwork. As does the Japanese version, and they all look, like, amazing, you know? It's just weird because you look at it and it's, like, artwork you're not familiar with. It's like, dang. Yeah, I wonder how Sly did in Japan. You know, did they take to... Because you know how in Japan, Ratchet has, like, really thick eyebrows for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing in Japan, but whatever. Um... Alright, I see, okay. It is crazy to think there because, you know, this would have been back in the day where if you didn't release your game in Japan, it was pretty much guaranteed to be a failure, you know? Like, Japan was simply the game's market, you know? How the times have changed there. In China... Winnie the... Oh, my God. Is that true, CW? Do you have proof? Is there footage of that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Just a cloud. All 
Actually, I've already done this. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I mean, you remember when the, the interview came out, that film that took the piss out of Kim Jong-un? Alright. We all thought Kim Jong-un was petty. Alright. I can't even mind the name of the president of China. What's his name again? You know what I was actually watching too, and I very unapologetically laughed my fucking arse off at? Do you guys remember, like, that Chinese store restaurant in South Park? Who owned the, uh, restaurant, the City Walk? And, um, you know, every time he would say it, he would say it like, Shitty Walk! Hello there, Shitty Walk, take your order, please. What's that? You want shitty chicken? Okay. What? Shitty beef? Uh, and the shady shrimp. Ah, oh, okay. And then they asked them to, like, build a wall because, you know, he's Chinese. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny as fuck, you know? Hero, Mongolian. Hey! You stop trying to break my shitty wall! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't do the voice very good, but yeah, it was funny as fuck. <laughs> Hello, Lily. I don't think I've seen you in here yet. <laughs> Character from South Park. Yeah, like I was saying, I was... I don't know why. I think the YouTube algorithm threw it to me. And uh, I just watched it, because I, I do remember watching the episode with that character. And again, it's, it's funny. It's so funny. You've been here for ear. Oh god. Alright, cool. Alright, I don't know how much. I do want to finish this area. This is the last level of the area. Uh, but then we do the boss. So, I don't know how much longer I'll stream to after that. We've actually been doing pretty good getting all of these balls. So, if I am going to stream for a bit longer, I might go back to the first area and get some more of the balls. But we'll see. Fuck. This 100% play for not really. Cider, hello by the way to you too. I don't think you've been here yet either. Or I've not paid attention to you, sorry. But, uh, it's obviously quite tempting to get the bowls, so. I've not even been paying attention to the things that we've been unlocking. I keep going to the safe and I have no idea what we've actually unlocked, so. Because Sly gets a lot of these, like, stupid moves. And, like, rolling and whatnot. This was a... This was a good on the Platinum and PS4 port. PS3, rather, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. That's Crash Bandicoot. That's fucking Crash Bandicoot on the wall art there. Look, that's definitely... Okay, it's not, but it looked like it, didn't it? Looked a bit like Crash, did it know? <laughs> I mean, no, I did. I know my video game artwork. Yeah. Demo of Sly 2 and Ratchet 3. <laughs> I don't think I ever really accessed that before, too. 
Like, I don't even know how you access it, I should say. Oh god, is that an emulation glitch? Look at... Sly's, uh, shadow there. Dear, oh dear. Motherfucker! Wait. I had a horseshoe! I had a horseshoe! Horse shit, more like. Oh. Uh -oh. Looks a bit like Crash Bandicoot. The face that is. Uh, what's my favourite model of Sly from all four games? I was just thinking that he does look different in two. Like, I was, aren't they the same? Isn't it the same in two and three though? Actually, why did it knock the horseshoe out of me? I had a horseshoe, so why did I die there? Oh my god, one more. One more. Fuck, 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 fuck. Where's the last gen? Where's the last fucking bowl? Where's the last bowl? There it is. Oh, thank fuck. That would have ruined my night. Oh. I don't think this is supposed to happen. I drink in the night. Just water, cool breeze. I go back to work in a couple of days, so I need to sober up. <clears throat> You've uncovered Rob the Cooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Oh my god, Mario Odyssey copied Sly Guys. What's you doing there, Papa Greg's? No, I had, what did I have? I had a Chinese earlier and it was awful. Okay. You know what? It was probably watching that South Park clip that put me in the mood for some Chinese. But... This was not sh shady Chinese, this was just a shitty Chinese. You know? Like... Look at that, like that. It was, again, I, I described it sort of at the beginning of the uh, stream, right? But... I got chow mein, I like chow mein, you know? And... For 20p extra, you can get it with dry noodles. And I'd never had it with dry noodles before. I'm like, huh, dry noodles. Okay, let's, let's see what this is. I'm thinking maybe they're just slightly more crispy. But no, they're literally like fresh out of the packet, not even dipped in any liquid whatsoever. Noodles with your chow mein. And it was just like, how the fuck do you eat this? With like the chicken and the veg and all that. And you couldn't, eh? all right? I had to like break it up and like eat it with a spoon or something. And... I it was like, I paid 20p extra for that. That's so shite. Peking duck. <laughs> the chicken's okay. Still a couple of bits of chicken in here. See, some of these noodles have actually been like sitting in their, the chow mein's own water for a bit now, and now it looks like regular chow mein, but... Um... But yeah, no, that was a. Uh, I don't think I'll be ordering from a uh, there again. <laughs> You're uh, craving some fire noodles. Those are pretty good, yeah. Yeah, these are mine. Uh, we walrus. I'm sure I've told this story before, but 
I taught myself to use uh, chopsticks after my pals were arseholes to me when we all went to a Chinese restaurant one time. They'd convinced me, and I was so stupid, right? They'd convinced me that I had to use chopsticks when eating my meal because they they found it disrespectful, you know, if you don't use chopsticks. So I literally like, got some chopsticks, taught myself to use them and was struggling to like eat my whole meal and they were just taking the piss the whole time. But I learned how to use chopsticks that day, so fuck you, friends. They still can't eat fucking use chopsticks. Alright. I think that's all the meat. Ah! Chopsticks! My chopstick rolled under the couch! Oh, It's all sticky! <laughs> oh. It's like a big chow mein smear rolling right across my flare under the couch. Oh. Alright, let's just beat fucking mugshot. Did I get- do I have all of the bottles in this area then? I don't in there. Oh, that's the first level too. No, no, we're gonna- we're gonna go back to the first level. <laughs> we're gonna find those fucking bottles. Again, I just need to pretend that they're Cronenberg. And I'll smit sniff them out. You're glad you were there for the chopstick drop 2020. Oh, is that the first, like, s proper Scottish duck moment of the year? Is when he rolled his dirty chopsticks under his couch and left a big chow mein stain on his floor, alright? And knows that when he goes to get the chopstick layer, it's gonna be covered in little bits of dust and God knows what, because I don't think I've actually moved that couch for a year or so. So, aye. Yeah, rolling it back. No, I don't have any games <laughs> here, the new. Oh, fuck that. Little bit of chow mein on Padre Dragoon Saga. Doesn't bear thinking about. Uh, we got six left to get to. Oh, I, I forgot how shite that explosion looks. Bentley's bombs are more impressive. I can't use chopstick, but I get told no fuck. Okay, CW. Who tells you that? That's not very nice. Never been to an Italian restaurant. Uh, once or twice, Aaron. I was very polite, very respectful of, like, you know, Italian customs, you know? When you write your will, are you putting Pantry and Saga to your favourite child? I don't know if I'll have one, Marshall, but I wonder how much that collection will be worth when I do croak. Like, what will happen to it? Hmm. These are just things to think about, I suppose. Actually, yeah, I should be able to see where the bottles are. That's the last three air there to... Smashing, okay. They're on the same place, that's good. Oh, Froak is raiding me. Oh god, what'll I day? What'll I fucking day? Raids came to my stream before they came to Fancy Star Online too. <laughs> Think I'll ever have Scotch Duck 18. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, by the way, everybody who's in the Frog stream, by the way. We're talking about my future family and how I may or may not have one, alright? Because I have a big game collection and I don't know who I'm going to leave it to, alright? Now, pa my copy of Patrick Good Saga will probably have, like, disc rot in the next few years, you know? 
That's apparently a phenomenon with Sega Saturn games. They get, like, disc rot. So, I uh, I'll take it off my hands. You'll take my kid off my hands! Oh god, Frog, don't do that. Oh, you're talking about Panzer Dragoon! <laughs> For a second there, I thought... <laughs> Never mind. No, you're not getting that. <laughs> Uh, I remember, that's you, Aaron. I remember one of your LP videos once you looked at your phone and you were like, hold on, I got a text. Oh, wait, it's a girl, BRB. <laughs> Did I really do that? I wouldn't have put it past me, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, Marshall. Um, it's... Sounds like it's just gonna happen, you know? I mean, fair enough, it's easy to, like, pirate um, Sega Saturn games onto, like, blank discs now. So if I want to play something on actual hardware, I can. So really, it'll just be cool to, like, I guess, own the official thing at some point, even if it doesn't properly work, but... Yeah, it's a shite thing. How can we get on the duck video game well? Oh, God. Well, alright, everybody in the chat, if you could have one thing from my my game collection, alright? What would it be? Go on, and I'll tell you what your uh, chances are of getting it. The Sega Tessanjiro game. We played that when we were pissed, Frog, and I can't even mind. I was wasted by then, but yeah, you, you did pull that off the shelf we played it a little bit, aye. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, you know, Cool Breeze, I actually did have two copies of that at one point, and I literally gave the other one away to a friend. That's how good a friend I am. So, yeah. Klonoa 2. Mm. You want a VMU? Well, I have like five of them. They're not too hard to come by, so... Yeah. Any Skies of Arcadia stuff? Well, I have like... I have like the... two versions of the game, and I think I have the soundtrack somewhere on CD as well. What's the play? What's the games he <laughs> play? I got him into anyway. Good, 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 good. Well, Cool Breeze and Lelia, you're gonna have to decide amongst yourselves who gets the Dreamcast version and who gets the GameCube version. So, Sonic Three and Nipples. I'm afraid I don't have that. You'll take Legends. Mm. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that doesn't exist, Cider. Sonic Spinball. Really? Out of all the games that I own, Tama, you would want Sonic Spinball? Alright. Actually, the Dreamcast I used... Not to spoil the magic for y'all, but the Dreamcast I currently use is actually my second one. <laughs> so that one hasn't been kicked. Bastard. Fucking Spike. Why is it some dogs are like prisoners and can use guns, but then there's I shouldn't question this. Uh... I was looking at the chat. Oh, you bastard. I was looking at the chat. Oh. 
If anybody wants to clip that, be my guest. Aha, there's the bastards. How do I get to those bastards? This way? There we go. Delaying audio from the game of the stream. Oh god, don't say that. <laughs> okay, this page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Hmm. Let me try refreshing, Marshall. May actually be okay to just speed up the clock. Oh, I keep thinking this is mug shots. Yeah, right. Try to remember how how e a lot of the bosses in this game are pretty tough. So yeah. My beautiful gods destroyed! You know, for a guy who was clearly took a lot of a uh, pride in pumping his guns full of iron, he sure does rely on firearms a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and... <laughs> and... and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. You're a Cooper? Cooper? That fingers Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big words. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joints, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! <laughs> this is a Crash Bandicoot boss right here. I'm really not sure how the sun is supposed to like, I guess because the metal gets too hot and I uh, can't hot it anymore, I, I don't know, it's it's a weird, it's a weird boss for sure. Fuck. Oh my god! Right, I need to get this time and good here.
Basta! And this, okay, this, uh, this friggin' like shadow glitch thing is really gonna like fuck me over during bosses. Oh, see, I got impatient there and I jumped. Yeah, I know what I'm... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, the game felt sorry for me and gave me a, a friggin' horseshoe. Cheers for that. Why does it do that? Fucking game. Oh! My beautiful gun is this strong! Good thing I got a spare upstairs. Something about Mugshot's designs really, like, horrifying to me. The fact that he, like, walks around with his big fucking arms that are bigger than any other bit of his body. It's like, that can't be healthy. Got me like immediately. Am I at the bottom again? I'm at the fucking bottom again. Fuck this game. I hate this game. I didn't even like move and I just died. See, you have to do this level like several times. You're gonna like it's you're gonna like fuck up and die a lot. Shit. Case in point. Basing the dog with shorter hind legs. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, oh, horseshoe. I got felt. I got sympathy from Sucker Punch. It's not your fault that you're shite, Donald. Let's try this again. I think I need to. I need, yeah, I need to. I almost want to use the save states, but no, we'll not do that. Beaten by sun.
The mugshot section of the Phoebus Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His Playable in slide four. And rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. Hot stuff with a badge, collars canine that criminal. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Right. More anti-feminist news lines. Well, again, like I said before, CW, at least it's not page three. Can you imagine Carmelita Fox on page three? Don't answer that, don't answer that. Anyway. A garbage at web dev. So am I. So am I. <laughs> they referenced steroids in a Sonic game? Right, the reason I'm bringing that up now is because I'm going to finish the fucking stream now. Alright. We beat Mugshot. We got all the safes, Tay. Mm, that's going to be an itch to go back and get the rest for here. You googled page three. <laughs> here, look. I would go into the shop as a kid, okay? The sun was right there. The sun newspaper, right? I didn't. It, was a, it wasn't on some special shelf, okay? I could reach it when I was age three, okay? And you didn't have to go too far to get to page three. You know what I mean? All right. I'm sure there's some... Uh, this is the fucking internet, Marshall. Okay? The fucking internet. What do you think? Uh, I'm sure there's page three of that crab in that tank. Just there. All right. Page three is such a better, much, much better term than uh, rule 34, in my opinion. Okay, right. Anyway, that's me, guys. That was a good stream. I think one area of stream is maybe a good thing to aim for, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, see you after. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.